Hi everybody, this is Rani from Canva. First of all, welcome. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you step by step how to create an animated social media post with Canva that you can share on Facebook or Instagram in order to promote your online store. So if you're ready, let's go. All right, so let's jump into this tutorial. We are going to create an animated social media post. And the good news is that we have a type of document for that. So uh, if you search from the Canva homepage, if you search for animated social media, you will see, um, depending on what type of document you use recently, but you might see it right here in the, in the first positions, or you can search for animated just typing animated and you will see animated social media and that's uh, 800 by 800 pixel document. So let's click on that and we will start with a blank document. We are going to create from scratch today. So this is our Canva and uh, we are going to start designing. So the idea here is to promote a new range of products in our online store. And let's imagine we are selling organic oils. So uh, the post we are going to design is to, is to promote our new range of coconut organic oil. So let's go and let's create this post. We want it to be animated so that it will attract the attention of our audience right there on our Instagram feed or even Facebook uh, feed. So let's start by adding some divisions uh, in our design. And for this, I'm going to use a grid. So I'm going to click on the elements tab and use grid. And you can see here that uh, we can work with different sorts of layouts, different sorts of grids. But me, I like to use the simple grid, the first one, and then kind of shape it as I wish. So I want to have not exactly half, so that would be half and Canva indicate where half is with the purple line. I want to be a little bit over half. So something like that. So there will be a photo here and then we will have something else on this side. So I want to change the background to something kind of coconutty. So a fresh color, fresh green color, let's say, because we want to promote our organic range of coconut oil. So here, of course, I need a photo. So for this, I'm going to, you probably have photos of your own products for your online stores, but uh, in my case, I'm just going to use um, this photo right here of coconut ingredients. All right, and I will insert something else to kind of uh, generate some movement here on this corner. Let me see uh, what we can do. I have this idea of inserting a blob uh, so blob sticker, I will type this blob sticker. Oh, but I'm not, should not search for that in the uh, photo category, but under the elements category. So go to elements, don't be like me, don't do this, this mistake and search for blob. Let's just type in blob. All right, but these are not moving. So I will search for blob sticker. The stickers are the moving elements in Canva. So now you see we have these moving blobs and I'm going to use one of these to generate some movement here in the corner. So uh, for that, I'm going to use, uh, which one, this one? Yes, this is nice. So I'm going to position it here for now. And we are going to add some text here. So the text I'm going to add, let me create a text box by uh, pressing my T key. So there, uh, my first text is all new, all new, and then I will have a column. And I want to change my font for a font that I have been using recently. It's called Libre Bas Baskerville. So I really like this font, Libre, yep, Baskerville there. So all new, 24 is fine. Let's have this all caps. So to have your text all caps, have your text box selected and use this uppercase button right here. Perfect. So we have our first text box. I'm going to position that here. And then I'm going to create another text box. So again, T. And we are going to promote our organic oil collection. Okay. This shouldn't be uppercase. Okay, I want this, the whole thing, not uppercase. 
and I want this justified to the left, like this. And I want this bigger, let's say 64. Okay, on only two lines, and I can see the, the uh, spacing between these, these lines is too high. So I'm going to reduce this to maybe 1.1. Let's see, yes, this looks good. And I want this to be like this, uh, italic. Let me see if this fits here. It's a little bit too big. So I'm going to reduce the size in the line right here. So all new organic oil collection. Okay, it's a little bit too much uh, closer to close to the top here to the, the upper edge of the, my design. So I'm going to move it down a little bit. Maybe reduce this also. Just trying now to find some harmony in this layout. So this looks good. Maybe reduce the spacing a little tiny bit more to 1.05. So I want these uh, two letters to touch. Okay, this looks nice. Uh, so we have our first part of the design. And then I have some more text that I want to add here in the lower part of my design. And I want to go back to 24. And uh, non-italic is fine. I'm going to move this here reduce the size and this should say now available in our online store i'm going to reduce the size of this to 20 so i can just grab it here and reduce like this okay 20 this looks good and i will center it like this Okay, now available in our online store. Maybe I could change the color to white. Let's see how it would look. Uh, not so great. So let's go back to the original black color. And what I could do is that I want to stress that this is now available in our online store. So I want to kind of emphasize the online here. So I'm going to use another sticker. So sticker line. I want to kind of underline this. So I could use this first one right here, which is nice. Let me see if I can find some other type of underlining, which is nice. This one is okay, but it's red. And it's not gonna work with this design. Let me see. Oh, this one could be nice. So let me grab this. Yeah, this is nice. Reduce its size and position that here. I'm gonna reduce it a bit more like this. Yes, this is nice. So now I'm gonna select all of this thing right here, the text box and my sticker underneath it. Okay, so this is great. Now I just need a photo of my product right here. We have the ingredients. I just need a photo of the product. So for that, I'm going to add one last element here. So on the elements tab, I'm going to add another grid and bring it forward okay now i can just reduce its size to about this size here and i would like to have that kind of centered like this so this could be interesting but i want it to be also touching the blob right here okay something like that would be nice and i have selected a photo already but for you in your case, and uh, you will probably have your own product photos. So like this, and let me go back here. Let me go back. I went a little bit fast, but so I dropped my photo in the frame and it looked like this. So not very well centered. So the way to adjust this, you can click on that uh, grid right here and click um, on crop and then you can move your photo to the left or to the right. Or similarly, you can simply double click on it and then move to the right or to the left, depending on how you want to position your design. So this looks good. I'm going to center this as well as possible. All right, so this is pretty good. What I want to do now is make this blob slightly bigger. Yes, so now it comes down all the way and I'm going to move these two boxes even bit more. I can even make them a bit bigger. 
just fine-tuning this design but it looks pretty good to me that's it guys i think we have a pretty good social media post here that will grab people's attention for sure in the news feed uh, let me see if i can tweak this slightly like this yeah you can rotate your blob uh, you can play around with it so this is nice so now all i have to do is to export this design you see it's a six second video so make sure that you download this design in the video format so that's what i'm gonna do right now all right that's it so my video is now downloaded it is here i'm going to open it so you can see how it looks like hitting the play button and you can see this is the way it will look in your news feed either on instagram on facebook or wherever you decide to post this so that's it for me that's it for this tutorial i highly encourage you to create animated social media posts use the current doc type or type of document in canva that we have to do so it's super easy and it for sure will grab your audience's attention that was ronnie for another tutorial about canva and i will see you in the next tutorial